All right, we got Kawasan. First time we get Kawasan this map pool. What an amazing map pool, by the way. Can't believe it. Great job to whoever, whoever was involved in that. That was really good. Here's hoping we have Dravidians. Let's see. Like, I don't care. Like I, I, I would play with the worst Civ matchup of all in this map. Because in this map, you have to force different scenarios then, right? You, you get Portuguese. Like Let's say you play... What's a bad Civ? Uh, Italian. Like, you play Burgundian Italians, right? Now it's probably up to Daniel to make something happen outside of the water. Because Italians will be better on water, right? So... Um, I, I like to play with Civ disadvantages on maps like this. I always like to play with Civ disadvantages. It gives you the freedom and the opportunity to try something else to make... Uh, compensate for the on-paper Civ disadvantage. If you get what I mean. Does he not know that I'd rather have Burgundians in this matchup? Because it's more fun to play with that. Can you not say that about Arena as well? No, Arena is very different. Arena gives you very limited options in terms of what you can do to... to uh, like On Arena, you can only... You can't go Feudal Age, but like... You can only fast castle and try to make shit happen. With either a full Yola Monk Rush, Castle Drop... Like, you have very limited options in terms of how you can use your Civ. On Kawasan here, for example, if I have the Civ event, let's say I'm playing as Burgundians, I could go Scouts, I could go Archers, I could do like a Drush, I could go my arms forward, I can go Fast Castle, I can go some sort of Feudal into Castle Drop to play a Custodier, get the Relics, and play long term like that. Um, on Arena, your options are very limited, in my opinion. Arena is a very strategic game. I don't like Arena when it's random Civ, but Arena in like tournaments where you pick Civs and draft Civs, I think can be quite fun. But yeah, here you have suddenly a million, a million is a bit exaggerated, but you have a lot of different options in terms of how to approach it. Scouts, towers, like anything just to like throw the opponent off and make it difficult for the opponent who is somewhat going to play uh, meta because of his, in quotes, Civ advantage. Alleged Civ Advantage. <laughs> May have gone too early with the villager. <laughs> or not. DN streaming. What? Oh, Jordan is streaming? We can try to get some team games. We have seen some resurgence of team game activity the last couple of days. And there's no bloodlines, right? Correct. But their other stable techs have a 50% discount. Wasn't there a boar here? Did it go into the shadow? Must have, right? Okay, no. I wasn't gonna fight you, I was just poking, man. Relax. Oh, this version has all the relics in the center, though. It's not the altered version. Ooh. This makes this version a little bit worse. It it gives you so much of a power spike. 
to get to get the middle control when you have the all the relics in the center. So yeah, there's a minus on this map. The cows I'm playing tournaments these days usually have the centers along the lakes. It will be one in the middle, and then the rest will be spread around the lakes on the sides, which I feel like is a way better way to do it. You need ticket for the big game. Depends on what you think the big game is. Also, this looks like it has more fish than the tournament version, so... Mm. If we could have done the tournament... Like, that's why we need the tournament versions of the maps as well. If we could have done the tournament versions, I think we would have had way better chances at... Um, but it would be even better. I'm not even sure if he's gonna try to fight water, so I'm considering. I'm thinking I'm just gonna go scouts myself. Oh, he's going on gold though. Maybe he will fight water. In which case, it might be good because I will surprise him by going scouts, maybe. thing about this map is in my elo I can count on a 70% when enemy being France or Portuguese. Do they always pick save on your elo all the time? Is it that frequent that it's like you just blindly know that they're gonna go that save? Hmm, he's walling. Might end up fast casting this then. Sadly, yes. Doesn't sound very exciting. Maybe he is fast casting, actually. It seems like multiple docks added. <coughs> or not. I'm confused. So yeah, we're just fast casting in the end. Ooh. It's gonna send a scout here as well. Finish the job, so we need to protect. The fool. You should know better. Come on, Danny boy. Come on. Danny boy is a funny guy. It is a funny guy. Okay, so we're gonna play light cab monk kind of style initially and adapt from there. Bring a new full HP build back.
wonder how long that dog will stay alive. Might not even be able to survive long enough. This is fine, I can heal them up anyway. To make a monastery. Cowboys on a ladder, I know, right? It's crazy. Double stable. Looks a lot like potential cavalier play then. Oh, that did not work out as intended, apparently. Might be in a good spot, because he has had uh, Clenched and Gilnuts all the way through Feudalage. We will try to get a TC in the middle. Staying an awfully long time in the village though. Mm. Should keep us safe for now. Burgundians, right? So we definitely don't want to want him to have the relics. I promise it wouldn't be house this game. How could you tell? Can I sneak a second monk in here? Yes, we can. Nice and cozy. I want to go on stone. My light cap will be better because I don't have the uh, bloodlines. That's good. Can't complain. All the relics. His eco is probably superior. <gasps> I'm not fishing anyway, so that's kind of okay. Look at this guy. Thinking I'm not paying attention. Man, Danny boy, he wasn't born yesterday. Do we have a long queue? Or is by playing a noob? Yeah, I don't know, it happens sometimes. Can't really control it. Yeah, fish is out anyway. I don't want to make fish traps. Ooh, what's this? Why did not Garrison me? Hmm. 
Hmm. No touching here. Hurts. Oh, my relic's going bye-bye. Hurts. I'm gonna sacrifice in the road, so try and save this. It ain't looking good. Being slapped by a noob. Can't confirm. <laughs> yeah, this is a goner. That one hurts. Wonder how good his fish is then. Or how is how much equal he has at home. I guess the odds are that that wasn't potentially a one TC play. But you see, those are the types of things that you see in the games where one guy has to make special moves to overcome a Civ disadvantage. Isn't that just way more fun? Damn, he's gonna get all the relics now. Well, that's gonna hurt. I wonder if he has um, fish traps. Don't overchop. I don't know if I care if he comes in or not. I should have enough armor to defend by the time he comes in. I need to switch into heavy farming now. It's going to be a hole soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that on the next to my TZ there. Okay, Viper, the map pool is not that bad. I was joking. Only Haboob is bad. Would have liked Moras or Nomad more. Well, Moras and Nomad were options to be voted, right? So you don't blame me. It's the people that voted. Both of those were options. It would be nice if you could ban some... Yeah, I would love to see like a drafting system implemented in ranked, right? Where if you agree to do ranked, uh, that you like... Um, let's say you agree, like, you have a little tick, a box where you can tick, and it'll be like 10 civs will be picked randomly. You ban and draft from those 10. Something like that could be really fun. Oh, look, he stopped fighting. <laughs> All my relics. I put so much work into them. He's doing a TC in the middle. Oh my god! How do you convert so fast? Yeah, this definitely feels like one TC. One, I, I wouldn't say one TC anymore, but the opening definitely felt like one TC play for a while. I imagine it's added a TC at this point, but you know. So I need to add a castle here. Which is where do we want to build it? Gonna force him to either react by attacking it or fall back. Looks like he opts for the attack. Which almost seems like he still thinks he's all in. Which surprises me given that he has all the relics now in the center and that stuff. Hmm. Yeah, this the play he's making now is definitely not a play he has to make. Yet for some reason he's doing it. Oh my god. There's some decent value on those. to recover position somehow. He lost a lot of his light cab. I think I just idle and go imp. Actually 66. I don't have enough bills to do that. Do a little bit more before we idle. 
Hasn't those bills been idle for like forever? This is a bad move right now, but I had surplus of wood. So it was hard for me to resist. Just slapping down some fish traps. I have way better upgrades now. With bloodlines. He has a teaser. I know where my second castle is coming. We have Botkin Arrow as well now. So... I think we just continue castleage. Oh, the fire. Lol, he was busy quick walking his villager, and he lost the villager anyway. Anyway, that's a ex prime example of where attention focus can be wrong, right? I do that a lot myself, right? Well, I'll, I'll be obsessed about uh, quick walling, so I ignore anything else that is happening. His army is out of position now, should be. Ooh. This will be an interesting one. Should be game over one. He wanted to build his own castle there. GG. He trapped those wills. That was a nice play for him though. But I think he misplayed follow-up. Like it's still full one tease. Like what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay, that's too much. That's too much. I like what he did though with the like double monastery and like full light cap with ram to take the middle. But this ain't it. This ain't it. <laughs> I think he could have easily afforded a second TC at home and then a third TC there once he took the middle. And then just play macro from there, right? He didn't have to break my, like, send all his rams to kill my base and dive into my eco and waste his whole advantage, right? He just goes in, has five relics, has the middle. Even if he has a 15 20 villager disadvantage, he can just play bomber can or whatever just to, um, Maintain map control, right? He has the five relics, he can play around that. I think going for the kill was a mistake by him in this case. See, when you have saved matchups like this, this is what happens. Not 69, nice. Just killing your production buildings, walls, and houses would be annoying though. Yeah, but he went for the kill, right? 63. If he didn't go for the all in, I'm pretty sure, like, he, I didn't lose any wills, I think, to his rating, right? So this is probably going to be, like, a 15 village advantage for me. And that does not compensate five Burgundian relics. Yeah. I think he did put himself in a pretty good spot, but then he went too far.